Welcome back to um, the Life of a London podcast. I'm Jibro and I'm Zach. And yeah, yeah we're going to be talking about today's episode. We are going to talk about how being a younger person has affected, has changed over the years from before and now, and the different issues that that person would face. Before we go, you know, get into all the, the nitty gritty, how was your weekend? My weekend was actually good. Yeah, I don't know if you know. You, you, you watch football, I watch football. Arsenal oh, played over yeah, the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, United fans, they can vividly tell you the game. I can tell you the game in the no, v- no, you guys, I, I'll be so honest here, VAR saved you guys. It saved like, us. Go on, go on, your goal. Okay, that, then, sorry, that was, that, that, was just good, that was a good piece of defending from Gabriel. He did it on purpose. Respectfully, yeah. Respectfully, respectfully yeah, yeah, he did. No, no listen, it's because you're an Arsenal fan. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You do. No, do you see what he did? He stood back, so he got natural. No, offside. no, he was not. Yes, he, he saw was. the angles. Yeah, like the cameraman, he didn't get the angles right. I, uh, I don't, I, I don't care. It was a goal. I'm not even United fan. Yeah, but what, like, what did he support? Yeah, I uh, support Chelsea. I don't know. Wait, wait. If my memory serves me listen, right, listen, we're not a Wait, wait, yeah. wait. They lost. The viewers know you guys lost. Okay, listen, yeah, so we're, wait, we're wait. rebuilding. Rebuilding, rebuilding. Okay, what billion? Okay, okay. Too much on Chelsea, yeah. Hey, Marco. Other than that, what did you, what did you actually do this weekend, though? Uh, I got myself ready for school cause, you know, Oh yeah, school starting School starting ha. Do your homework, kids what? And adults but Are you ready for A-levels? Honestly, never been more ready Yeah, that's a lie Because apparently I've been hearing I'm, I'm, you, Yeah, no, you no, do, no, do no, 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 no. I am <laughs> You got the ball session today <laughs> I am I am so ready hmm? If I give me my A-level papers right now No chance, there's no chance you I'll, I'm looking forward to it, say the least How many days are you rising? <laughs> what? You're feeling bro. Respectfully, bro. Respectfully. Okay. At least you tried and you didn't try. Okay, how many, how many days are you revise? No, I'm revising every day. Oh, no. Sunday, Sunday, I'm, I'm, I'm going to revise oh, a little oh, bit less. No, it's it about now. What do you mean? I thought you talked about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah You're no. not revising every day now. Uh, yes, I have been. I have been. Yes, I have. I have. I have. I have, I have, I have. Been. Today, I didn't revise, of course, unfortunately, because of the. Early. Wow. Because of the podcast. So, you, you know what I'm trying to say? At least I'm, you know, I've been doing my work, personal statement. My, so, my sources tell me something else. My sources? Okay. My sources. Your sources are Zidane's hair. My, my, my sources are Zidane's I'm telling you. My sources, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make their name because they work undercover. They've been telling me something else. Okay, buddy. Okay. But, oh my, yo, the school is, this year. Like, like even, even, even like, it's not just, not just eight levels yet. Yeah, we have to get ready for uni or for going to do an apprenticeship. Mental challenges as well, you know. I can't lie. If people, you know, like, you've seen as well, you know some people, they, they, they overstress, yeah. Um, they overwork their brain. Yeah, and no, and just every, everything, let's say there's something going on at home, let's say um, they work a job, you know, to help their family, or something. That factors into, you know what I'm trying to say, like the whole, the whole, the whole study, yeah. and they, they, they manage, they basically, they um, lose track of their studies and stuff. You know, this reminds me of, what? During COVID times. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. When when you'll be at home doing work constantly, and I miss then, COVID. Oh, yeah, and not the disease. Yeah, guys, just to make that clear, I don't miss the disease. I miss the lockdown. Wow, wow. Uh, People out here doing important no, stuff. You're yeah. saying you miss it? No, I don't know. At the time was just, it was nice. I didn't do anything. I was a fat slob. If I woke if, up, if you look back at it, <laughs> for the older years, it would have been stressful. Yeah. Because remember, they didn't sit exams. Mm. No, now that you know, they're probably feeling it now. Now yeah. they probably have to do exams in uni or something. And, and then they're, they're more unprepared. And the last time they f- did exams was what? <laughs> GCC. Wow. Yeah, shocking one lie. But nah, it was nice though. I don't know the time. Like Maybe for our year, because we were young. But we talk about like the older people, they, they had to, let's say they weren't really taking the year seriously mm. up until GCSEs, but they never got to see it. And they, they get their predicted, which is probably shocking. Yeah, it could have been shocking. Because you know that year, only uh, there was. So the year before it, sixty seven percent of people got grades between four and higher. Mm. That's, yeah, that's, after that's, that's solid. Yeah, after that it dropped to like what, thirty eight, thirty seven. Damn. So there's at least like a three point wow. four three or four percent. People really got dumber like yeah. during the lockdown. To be fair, what was you really doing other than you know, it was, and then TikTok? But yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying, because people don't know how to manage their their kids at the end of the day. They don't know how to manage their work schedule. It's an experience though. Uh, yeah, but there's lockdown going there might might oh, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm praying. Not not for the like the COVID. Let me make a disclaimer guys. Uh, 
that was really not, not the disease, yeah. I thought, I thought, no, I'm talking about like, like the whole lockdown vibe, you know. It, there's it a, feels there's... like you're overlooking a part of the scary nature of it. I don't like it. You need to look at it as a whole. It's... I would not like to go back into a time like that where it causes people panic and stress. Yeah, yeah not that. Uh, yeah. What's, what's the new COVID called? Uh, Perona, actually. Perona? Yeah, no, because I. It's, it sounds there like was no off- creativity in that one. <laughs> it sounds like an off brand fashion. No, because you know, it's with all the, with all the uh, like, COVID, yeah, they have special needs. Yeah. Omicron, all that sounds hard. And then, what else did they have? They had this. Did they just call? Did they just call COVID? No, 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 no. The name. The name. Did they, did they just call a COVID variant hard? <sighs> the language you use to describe a COVID variant. It sounds aesthetically. I'm not. I'm obviously pleased. I can ask man. No. Okay. For the rich, I'm retracting my statement. I never said anything. Yeah. But I don't know. Like the vibe again. If that's if it happens, because I can't lie. You know, there's a lot of cases now. Like. Yeah. It's actually. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, cases yeah. are ramping up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I literally so it's, it's, Peron- Perona is a deadly de- deadly yeah it's deadly it's Perona it's, it's coming back in Perona is basically like a sequel you know no that was Oracle so it's a it's a sequel on a sequel what's, what's, a, what's, a sequel? what's after a sequel a treat no nah, that's not like a treat what do you call it a treat I don't know a triple I don't know but like, it's a sequel the third... after the sequel it's a third installment yeah no but that sounds like I'm paying bills no, that... mentally it's, it's, it's draining it's draining and it's like you could also forgot think about it from the financial aspect, you know the whole lockdown, the country is gonna be broke again. Oh yeah, and how people and how stuff increased in Country's price, but people were getting that. relinquished of their job. No, no, but a lot of people, yeah, no, they get r- 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 redundant. Yeah, they redundant. relinquish yeah. their job, redundant, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then, when when a person is made redundant, yeah. uh, when a person is made redundant, they have to be paid their full contract, uh, their full contract until they're. Until like the contract ends, you know. Um, okay, alrighty. <laughs> but it's but amazing. wait 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 but yeah, that's like no level business looking all. But um, what was I gonna say? A lot of people got furloughed. You know furloughs. So like you get uh eight percent of your pay. Yeah. Why why? So a lot of people they were like during lockdown like they were snacking, like relaxing, chilling. Down. That's why no. But um, you could say lockdown had a good impact because uh, a lot of parents you know they got to spend time with their kids. Yeah, so know, if I, if especially I like, in London, like, like you know, because yeah, that, that wasn't really a thing anymore. It was, it was going to the point where parents were overworking themselves. Mm. So now, it's like didn't have to pay, didn't have to pay for travel to go to a job. Um, yeah, but that's that's because the job got rid of. No, but no, the people have been furloughed. Oh, okay. Not not redundant, of course. They're struggling in London as well to pay rent. Oh, yeah, rent in London is would would probably, yeah. It's one of the high has to be one of the highest in the world. It it killed them. But it depends on your borrow. Hmm? If, if if you live in a if you live in a not as expensive one then you could live all right. Mm. Yeah, like like like. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, not living in Kensington or Chelsea unless you're. That's why that's a nice area, no? Yeah, that's that's the way the. Yeah, so I don't think they were really affected yeah. by getting laid off if they even hadn't. Like, the people, the people are probably affected is like people like out of brothers, you know. You know, yeah, like pe- yeah. Um, but I've got a question for you. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Are <laughs> are younger people more stressful today compared to? Do you mean stressed out? Stress. Yeah, stress. Yeah, stress. That's the same thing. Stressful is like stressful. Oh, uh, yeah. Handle. I glitched. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. I picked up. Uh, are younger people more stressed out than they are, than they were before? Yeah. I would say compared yeah. to like yeah. Okay, yeah. That's only because how much of their lives they missed during lockdown. If you look at it, okay. So in our position, we missed year 9, year 10, and year 11. We were still recovering during year 11. So now... The, the, no, we're lucky. Yeah. yeah. We had teachers as grades. Yeah, we had teachers as grades. So now if we look at it, we we have just recovered now. We finished year 12. So we just got used to living a normal life again. Yeah. And the years that we were meant to be growing up, maturing, and all of this, mm. we were instead stuck in a house, on a computer, or laptop, for 8, 9 hours a day doing work. We were practically made adults before we were, what, 14, 15? We were, we were, we were, yeah, we were chunks of flesh just working away. Okay, yeah. that's really crazy. No, no, but like... What is, what is it you're trying to? Huh? I don't know, because no, you know, no. You're trying, it's just, we're, we're just little innocent kids. I, I don't know, I just, I don't know why I just pictured, yeah, us as blobs, yeah, just, just working away, like a 95. You've seen that one, like, image of a rat race and stuff. That's what it's looking, that's like, you know, mentally, that's how it feels, yeah. 
I promise you, it feels like you, you, you're, you're just, I don't know, you're dull inside. You're just, you're just hollow. Yeah, you, you know what I'm trying to say? You're just typing away, you're just doing your work. There's no soul, there's no nothing there. Just, uh, yeah. But what would you call it? Uh, and then, speak yeah, if, if we if we think about it, like then there was the older years that would have been what fifteen, sixteen. You know what it is. You know what it is. People like uh, our oldest year. Yeah. So like my sisters year, um, they they did uh tags. They got tags. Um, teachers' grades. They got yeah, grades first. Yeah, 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 eleven. The whole like GCSE right. Wait, and A levels. So wait, so then no, she would have had. A predicted first and then teach SS second. No, she got no, she got no teach SS grade is that not? No, she predicted and teach SS. Then she'll do the she exam. Got a, a specification. Yes, yeah, so, so it'd be she got predicted first and then she got teach SS second and then she got the exam. She got given what she was gonna do. Literally. So, like we got it as well. Hala, I'm I'm thankful for it. Yeah, I'm back right in the eleven, we got told what was gonna come up in the exam. Like. This topic's gonna come up. This topic is not gonna come up. So it was basically, if you failed, yeah, yeah. yeah the issue is it's not really about failing. It's about the fact that you were an ag. No, it's, it's, it's the fact that like, you weren't really in the same. Okay, let's say if we compare I my or our year eleven year mm. to a year eleven that did it normally. Because I know I know why. Is because we we had a routine. It was so we were so used to like revising this 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 so that this. It was unprecedented, yeah. This abnormality that happened, like, oh, which is lockdown, it kind of like threw us off. I mean, if you're revising in year nine, fair enough. Who, who the hell would revise? Sorry, but like, do you get what I'm trying yeah. to come from? Yeah, is it? Yeah, playing Roblox. What was I doing? Yeah, but the yeah. fact is that our year eleven, mm. if you looked at okay, the amount of people I said that were stressed out would have been so much different mm. compared to a regular eleven because a regular year eleven student, if they never was disrupted by COVID. They would have went five years of, or at least three years yeah. of being taught to get ready for GCSEs at the end of the year, doing mocks during the year, mm-hmm. then having the teachers help them like in person if they needed it. However, for us, we the, year that, yeah, the year we would have started on GCSEs year nine, we didn't do them at all. Mm-hmm. Year 10, we did practically a full GCSE instead of, is, we're meant to do a full GCSE, but we did a half GCSE with the teachers giving 50% of our grade. Oh yeah, true. And then our third year was our only year that we did it properly. However, we couldn't even know the entire con- uh, con- uh, course, uh, the content of the course. Why? Because we missed two years of it. Yeah, we didn't know half of it. Yeah, so That's see, why they gave us. So, yeah. so our, our year 11 year can't really be like compared with any other ones because ours really wasn't a year 11 year. We did about a year and a half of learning in, in person, a year and a half of learning on laptops in year 9. On laptops, I'm sorry, but it wasn't learning. You no see, no one see, learned. So we weren't really as stressed out because it was just... Yeah, I don't know. I was never... Yeah, I, I was, was never... Yeah. I was never really like in a moment of what, what yeah, I'm yeah. going to do. Have I, I was so honest. I, I actually started cramming, yeah. No, no, I was revising here and there, of course. Like I'd go to a here and there. But then I actually started, started cramming like the last month before, before the GCSEs. And I, I got pretty pretty good grades. I got sixes, yeah, sevens, yeah. eight and... Shout out to my teacher. I'll actually give it eight and drama. I'll never forget. But... Had me feeling like Denzel Washington when she gave it to me. I was like, whoo! No, but you know, yeah, GCSEs, it was actually like a very, it was a very different time. Because, you know, literally, I'd go home, I'd sleep, and then the day, uh, you know, the, in the exam, mm. I'd come in an hour or 30 minutes, I do the revision. Some exam people only used to rock up to the exams. I had a uh, stress, was it? I don't know what it was, but yeah. Yeah, I just felt like, and plus, when we felt, uh, when we felt stressed out, we had no way of coping with it. Because we've never been in this situation before. So everything mm-hmm. felt relatively new. However, to a regular year 11, they would have had years of experience doing mm-hmm. this when we didn't. So younger, are younger people feeling more stressed out? Yes, because this is a new environment to them. We grew up, we hit, pu- we hit puberty, like, in, in lockdown. Yeah, we hit puberty. When has that ever happened? In, in lockdown, like, in a cage. So, like, oh, yeah, that was, that was, was shocking. Yeah, it was like, you know how normally when you grow up mm. from year 7 to year 11, you no one actually really notices except when they look back at photos. We came back from year nine's lockdown when we started year ten. Everyone looked at each other. Uh, yeah, literally. I was, but I have a, I had a friend then. Then yeah, we were both five, five three, five three. We were both the same height. Yeah, we yeah. used to argue about we had like an inch of hair like taller or something. Yeah, yeah. We came back. I I was basically looking down at him. I was. Who? 
Uh, I'm, I'm not mentioning names, you know. But I was just like, wait. Hold on. I know I'm not chipping, yeah. Like, it wasn't just me that grew. Everyone else grew, so it was, I don't know. <laughs> you know, to be fair, he's, 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 he's tall now. But it's like everyone here at different times. And yeah, that's how you knew. Like, mentally, we grew up here in lockdown as well. I mean, of course, like, we were just staring at screens. Yeah, no, no. I don't but, okay, mentally, it hit you, though. Yeah, no, mentally, I don't feel like we grew up as much as we did physically. Because we were at home, we could still be a kid. No, nah, I feel like I grew up mentally. No, you could still be a kid at home. Hey, because no, because you know when you're locked in with your, okay, of course you're with your siblings all the time, yeah? yeah. But when you don't go outside and you're locked in with them, you're, you're always arguing with them. So I feel like you maturity, maybe because I, I get why some some students must have stressed because maybe relationships at home weren't as good as, you know, as, as like a, a regular family. So um, they must have been like, when they came back to school, they must have been already like on zero percent. Like they must have been just, they didn't really care. And then, and then also going back into a school environment would have stressed them out even more. Speaking to a lot of friends again, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, just getting used to being it. insecure. Maybe someone um, uh, uh, yeah. grew up uh, like, like maybe they look better or like uh, they're too really taller. You it's never know. Yeah, wow, insecurities or yeah, insecurities would have literally skyrocketed when everyone came back. Pop out of nowhere, and it was just our year. Cause, actually, not our year. Our year and the year above because they they had lockdown yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, they, they must have faced that a lot. I don't know, of course, who exactly, but yeah, it's, it, oh, maybe it may have affected with their learning. Because they would have compared, yeah, would, they would have like really compared themselves. Imagine, yeah, imagine being like, like sitting next to someone like that, or like speaking in the same classroom. You're not even really focusing on your work, you're just gonna be like, damn, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Yeah, tough, tough, tough times. I'm sorry, but I, I like it, I like, I like lockdown. So, I don't know. Lockdowns. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, yeah. Students, yeah, in terms of. Because uh, I asked you the question, yeah. So, yeah. What, did you, you, gave, you gave me your answer, of course. You said yeah, what, what, what's your... I, th- I think students, um, uh, in, terms of, in terms of stress, yeah. Back then, of course, during lockdown, they were d- definitely. I don't think they were. They were stressed. I don't feel like the stress hit them then. No. It's like they say it hit them after. Yeah. It hit them then, of course, but not to an extent of when it hit them after. Because, you know, I think it hit them year 11. I think it hit 11. Because me when I was in year 11, yeah, I, I, year 10, I was, I was still, I was just on the game. I was in like, year 11, I must have just got like a reality check. Like, it just hit me. You know? Like, when I started seeing all the, like, all the content, I, I, I was actually like sat down and revised. I was like, yeah, I don't know what I was doing for the past two years. But I got to step, step it up until they announced because you know they didn't. Uh, I remember they didn't announce oh, yeah, that uh, they were gonna full course or not. Th- yeah, they didn't tell us. Yeah, that they were going to give us, give us like what yeah, what to exams, do in the exams until was it December or January? Yeah, I don't know. Like January times. I was oh uh, yeah. So that's why I was scared. I was thinking yeah, this whole course I cannot do it. You can't do that. And then I found out. So I was like. I was like, you know, I, thought, I literally did, didn't care after that. I was like, yeah, I'm good. I got no stress. To be fair, yeah, people, people, people were not serious. I don't know if it was stressful or not, yeah, but people were taking the phone and taking exams, yeah, they weren't serious. Oh, you, you know, you know, I'm, I'm trying to remember who it was, but you know, before the exam, mm-hmm. before the exam, you know how they used to give pancakes and hot chocolate? Yeah. So we brought a Nutella jar. Into the exam? <laughs> to spread all their pancakes and eat it. In, into the paper, into the exam. No, of course not to the exam. You know how before the exam they yeah. gave you Nutella. Uh, oh, someone bought Nutella. Yeah, someone bought Nutella to spread. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe before, it's a good charm. Before, before an exam, they got Nutella to spread on their pancakes. To be fair, Nutella is the right choice. I know, but yeah. So, oh, so, so, you, so you have a big exam of your life in the next forty minutes. But right now, your your most important objective. It could be. It could be. It could be a way to cope. You know, I'm trying oh, to say. You never know. With stress. I, I can't let you meet. I used to bring polos into the exam. So, um, yeah, everyone knows you're a poet, I think. No, but I used to bring it into the exam. I, I, I didn't know it was, it was, it was, it was wrong until... A- AQA, uh, AQA, you hear this? A no, no, I never wrote onto it. Uh, yeah, I drew a, a public a public confession. What did you do? Yeah, what what did you do? Okay, that's crazy. You weren't allowed that's any crazy. calculator covers, you were allowed no papers, nothing, you were allowed a pen and a clear pencil case. Listen, yeah, and what did he bring? He bought a polo. I don't think AQA... Was it AQA? It's AQA, Alex, I, 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 I will be emailing them. I don't think they're going to care I, that much about me. I will be yeah. emailing them. You're sad if you do that. I will be emailing them. Yeah, don't worry. Nothing better to do if you do that. But, um, yeah, I remember, I still remember, the guy, like, I don't know what hit him, yeah, 
was it was it stress was it my man was he didn't feel he didn't feel like he was ready to do the exam but I remember it was a mass paper it was a mass it was a mass paper yeah. mass, no it was it wasn't an actual exam it was a mock right yeah it was a mock it was a mass paper yeah mass exam this person must have been sitting so I'm sitting okay pretend we're all facing forward right yeah this person was sitting to what this is four o'clock this so is just four, behind four, each other, four, right? four o'clock yeah to, yeah and they're sitting in distance I look right to check the time the time the clock is there. I see from the corner of my eye, this guy just blaze it up. He takes out his phone, he's got a bright red phone. You know people that have bright red iPhones, I'm telling you not, they're menaces. Yeah, I don't yeah. trust him. So he had his bright red iPhone out, yeah. And he's just looking at the thing. I don't know, of course, if he was looking at that thing, but he had his phone out, right? Of course he's looking at the old. And he's just writing down, right? He was doing a foundation. So he, so he cheated. I, and you still got a three. Hey, no, no offense. I ain't gonna hate on people, yeah. But when you do that and you don't get a, a you know, like yeah, you have to practically almost get four marks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you have a you have a phone in your hand, but um, especially foundation. Foundation is. I spoke to him after. I spoke to him after, yeah. Yeah. And then we started laughing, and he just said, "Kick on the low." But yeah, that was funny. I'm not screwing any names, of course. Uh, I'll tell you after. But that was the. Yeah. That was probably my highlight of like the, the whole year eleven season. One one of of course a lot of things happened, yeah. Uh but yeah. And I can't lie to you. Wait, I've yeah. got some I've, I've got you know, um um you know year eleven no, year eleven yeah. and year ten, yeah. Right after like during lockdown and everything, we had to, a thing called bubbles. Oh yeah, we did. It was year ten. And we could only stay in our bubble for the entire year. The, those yeah, times? So, yeah, it was it was it was not a good time. I'm I'm it was one of the most boring times. I th- I think yeah it was like everyone, so all the anger and all the yeah yeah and plus yes you see the exact same people in the same area, it was basically bubbles was because our school was like a big place they split it into different areas. All schools well, did it actually. Oh I yeah, don't know. Yeah yeah they had to I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah and then they split the school to a certain area. Each year. But only uh, 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 only one year could be in that area, and they gave the best area to year eleven of course, and then every other year had a smaller area. Yeah, and um, I think all the negative energy that it people does. had from lockdown, they just brought it there. And when we fights, came back, yeah, when we came back, that was our first week back. I'm pretty sure there was three fights in the first week. I, if I remember correctly, it was either. It was entertaining. Right? No, to be fair, I didn't run to the fights. It's just that they always kept happening where I was. No, no, I, I obviously because because I've been playing basketball. You know, we could walk from one end of the our uh, bubble area to another in the in the span of what three minutes. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Yeah, but and if you wanted to see everything, it would take you about 20 Ooh. seconds to see everything. Hey, that peak entertainment right there, bro. Peak entertainment. But, uh, yeah, just all the all the problems. I think that also caused, like, you know, people to start hating each other, people to not, like, be focused on their work. Because there was, like, there was stuff, like, where people, uh, a guy would come run into a person's classroom and he'd start fighting him. You know, they, people would probably, oh, be, yeah. they'd probably be thinking about the situation while they're writing their work and be stressed, you know. No, it's it's not, not I just feel like, Oh yeah, and they're above us. Weren't as mentally stable as years that would have done a normal seven to yeah. The year above us were a joke. I'm sorry, but they did not revise. They 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 uh yeah. they just ah oh, this yeah, it, it just it just made everything seem more like it wasn't as real. It wasn't as serious as years. Because when you come into high school, you know that year eleven is so incredibly serious. However, when you're in the position as us, where we haven't got to experience the years leading up to it properly. Mm. By the time you've thrown us into the deep end, we're not going to take it as seriously. However, if you slowly, if you slowly work away from the top and go to the bottom where you would have been, mm. now you've understood. Now you've understood how important your eleven is, mm. and we really didn't have that. I mean, you maturity. saw the stats. You saw the stats. The stats were ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but grades dropped by by three or four percent in one year, which is, I mean, because it's this year. Did you see this year? This year it was like. Did you, did you see? Oh my days! I I was on TikTok. Yeah, right? The exam, the exam, uh, the 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 grade boundaries went up by ten marks. Yeah, that was that was a crazy jump. I must have seen. I don't know what subject was. Was it just in general? Yeah, every every. I saw. Yeah, the difference. It, no, no, no. It was two four something. Two four four for an A for like an A levels. That's what A levels. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. I was just like. Psychology and an A star went up by fourteen marks. You know, in our school, in our school, I think a handful of people got A stars. Yeah, that is. That, that's that's wild. Before us, yeah. If you put if you put the grid boundaries up by ten marks, you know how bad like that. Of course, the percentages. And even GCSE, so many people 
just failed. Like they they, they failed. At least one subject, or they just failed see, a lot of the subjects. You seen it on TikTok? Yeah, but you, you seen see, the, like, that, that's, the, what, that's what I'm trying to say. If you look at it before, when people were stressed out, or when people failed, they they'll be feeling like that. But the, some people, the weight are, of it. some people are proud of it. Yeah, some people are laughing with their parents, like, recording I mean, it. Everyone, everyone's trying to do uh, Project Brampton Mana. Yeah, but nah, but you know that is impossible. But that then, is. But like, I don't think I've seen a single student happy that leaves there and they all get triple A stars, even four A stars. Yeah, okay. I saw also one photo of a guy. I don't know. He got A star, A star, A star, like four A stars, right? And he was doing economics at Bath. My man, he, he, he was just, he was just no, he's like jobs not finished. Yeah, yeah, you know? it was so. Disinterested like in yeah. what they've. He just. It's not like he didn't. He wasn't happy. Or he just didn't. He just. He was just. Yeah, just just, just showed no emotion. Yeah, my, he was just. Yeah, like if people like that. That's why I aspire to be. You know, when I don't even. When I'm. When I know I'm gonna do good, yeah. and I don't even worry like that much. He doesn't. Worry, he's probably thinking. As soon as he's having. Am I gonna have? What am I gonna have for lunch later? Hmm. You know, my, you know, we need to have worries like that. You always just yeah. I'm shocked at the GCSEs though. You see the people they were reading out. I got a U, a one, a one, a U. I, I mean, yes. seeing these it's videos. It's so disappointing just, yeah. seeing their reactions. <laughs> it's just like, this is meant to be like the first stage Sometimes of your life. Sometimes they're like, they're going to have to read it. Have to read no, it. It's like just disappointing watching it and seeing that happiness of fail. I'm not disappointed. What were you doing for the past five years? You know, no, it's just. You joke. No, it's just like, why? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You've sat, you've sat, you've sat. You've they had sat. no problems with with lockdown. Yeah, so, yeah. they were in year eight when it happened. Respectfully, you were yeah, still doing. Yeah, they, they were in year eight and year nine. You don't do anything important in those years. Yeah, man, they were still doing. And then when they come back, they were they were told they they, they really knew that they were always going to do the full course. Mm. Nah, yeah, literally. No, d- did they get? No, I don't think they got it. Yeah, they got the full course. They got. They didn't get a uh, um um. They did do the poem anthology and stuff. Oh yeah, they, 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 they did the entire... Alhamdulillah, I, didn't, I never did poems. All my days, I was looking at Kamikaze and all these Mala stuff and stuff like that, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, also, I, now looking back on it, wow, like, with the stuff that you're meant to know. Mm. And what they teach you at the age is like, you need to, but I, so in year 10, you're 15, they're teaching you 20 poems that you have to remember. Yeah, no, but to be fair, it's over the course of two years. The reason why we find it a lot is because we didn't, we had lockdown then. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah, but the fact that a, stu- a student is re- is told to remember f- twenty poems. You have to remember like the the, the most important p- points. I didn't even do the 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 the, the what do you call it? Anthology. Anthology. But I still remember some of the poems. Yeah, never, okay, so you and have I still to remember like how some of them like one of them one of them had fourteen lines. That's a sonnet. You have to remember. Uh, okay, no, no, I no, still no. remember. Yeah, I'm talking okay, about. No, no, okay, but if you look at, then you have to remember Storm on the Island. It was referring to Stormont, you know, and. Uh, you got to but never twenty to poems. And I think we do it. Plus two books, mm. and that's just English alone. And then you have to remember quotes, uh, what that quotes mean, mm. stuff like that. And then is in with science you have biochem physics. Then you have to remember twenty. Was it twenty odd equations for physics each? Physics eleven. Yeah. Twenty odd equations for each, and then you have maths. We got the paper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, you but get they two years prep. prep. You get two yeah, years yeah, prep. They, yeah, no, you get three years prep. You start, you know, literally the week we started, yeah, yeah, not, uh, GCC content for science, we went into lockdown. Literally the same week. We got, we got our basically in line. You know, you know what Boris, bro, Boris announced that. Um, I was, I was watching. You know, it's. I, I think I have a, a video, a video. See that I've got. Yeah. Yeah. I was sitting there on a computer, and Boris just said, "No, no, no, whoa, we can't do lockdown." Yeah, you know, he said lockdown. I was screaming around my house. I started. Right, I was. I was. By the way, back then, you know, I was short and fat. Yeah. So it took me a while to get up the stairs and like to and I was down. Like, <laughs> with my squeaky old voice. And on the on the second step. Okay. 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 You, not too much. You've now. got to. You've got to do this, Jibro. On the fourth step. Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> no, okay, no, but I'm <laughs> so. <laughs> no, but you know, if you're looking back, you know. On the week that I got announced, I've got such a dark story. Basically, I went medical, mm. and that week I was meant to get basically, medical or school. Medical at school. Okay. And that week, I don't know. Apparently, I was, I was that must have been like one of my worst weeks at school mm-hmm. because I had three I had three hour detentions after school that I, I missed. So I missed Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh, three one then, hour. Detention. Yeah, three one hour, and three then hours. I was I was on my way to be put on report during that week. Mm-hmm. I went medical, and me is me and a friend. While I'm at medical, there's loads of other people trying to get sent over for COVID. <laughs> and and the, there's a person ahead of me that's also an oh, yeah. Mm. As he's speaking to Miss, my friend tells me to, oh, it's like, you should cough. Maybe it sounds believable then. 
So I just cough randomly. She sends a person away that's in front of me away saying, go back to the you don't have COVID because they had like, no, shine, no, no sign of it. Misses to me. Uh, symptoms. You started. Yeah, I yeah, know. Symptoms. Oh, Misses to me because she had me, because she had me cough, she's yeah. going to send me home. Well, like, just just that one cough send me home. Do, they used to do. And then you know what she called my mum? Yeah. She called my mum. She's writing a note. Boy picked up. She said, okay, you can go home. And then she, my mum asked, oh, okay, how many days are you going to stay home? When Miss Banger said 14 days, I almost jumped for joy. 14 days. My mum, my mum, like, started. She said, oh. You are so lucky, all I have. Well, you know what happened? I went, I went home. Yeah, I went home. My yeah. brother was home. Mm. I don't know why I was home. I think he came back from work early. Mm-hmm. I started watching a football compilation, then I go to bed. I don't know why I'm yeah. watching a football. The next day, I always say I don't need to go to school. Mm-hmm. I wake up because I hear the door knocking. It was my older sister, my younger sister. Mm-hmm. Asked guys, why are you home? And they said, because you got sent home, we got sent home. Yeah, they so, did that. So I didn't even get to, so, so, not even an hour into my, my 14 years at home. They you got sent home. Yeah, they did they, they, literally, like an hour later, now. Boris comes out with an announcement saying there's no school. Yeah, you know, I think he spent more time on social media than he do outside. Right now? Yeah. Mm. And then I, I want your answer from when lockdown ended to now. So give me your Okay, so I'll give my answer now. If I check my screen time. Should I check it right now? Yeah, go ahead. Check it. Let me check. I, I, I generally think, yeah, I generally think I... No, I would like to hope that I, I go outside, because recently I have been yeah. uh, going outside a lot more. The weather's been nice, you know, and I've been spending time with family. Um, oh no, this is this week, call me cast. Uh, ah, I lied. That was a lie. Right. Uh, 10 hours. 10 hours? Uh, a weekly. Weekly. So that means you spend 10 hours. Okay, day. so let's say I sleep for 8 hours. On, let's say 8 hours, because 8 hours is average, right? Maybe yeah. 9, let's say 9, because I, I do sleep a little bit long. So 20, 40 quid a night, that's what? what? 15. Okay, yeah, my math is bad. Yeah, don't worry. 15, yeah. then for 15 of the hour, 15, I'm using, I'm, I'm using my phone for 10 hours. That's actually crazy. Wow. Oh my days. Yeah. Um it's it's because of like addictive apps in it. Like, you know, you just or you would just be texting that person or you just say oh, you know It's all addictive app because we all know TikTok blew during uh during prime lockdown. I I I'll, I'll probably guess yeah, TikTok out of those ten hours. Like let's say I use it on a ten hour day, yeah. Half of that is TikTok. I'll probably guess. Because you score I don't know for what five is. hours. No, they're so smart, the algorithm, I don't know what it is. They they just show me things I like. It's like, oh, I like this one. And then I'll just swipe, I'll probably SCL here, yeah, I'll get off, let me just watch one more video. Oh, I like this one, let me watch it off. It's, it keeps you in Yeah, the yeah, yeah, honestly. And I just repost stuff and people will send me messages. You know they're trying to do group chats on TikTok. I hope that happens. Because if it does, actually no, I don't hope that happens. So I've got A level to see. But if it does happen, good, good I, 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 uh, yeah. If it does happen, I'm going to be on it. So, so, so you gave us a lot of, a lot of answers. We didn't answer the main question. Yeah, yes, I ask, yeah. So you use your phone more? Yes. At 16 years old, did you use your phone more than you went outside? 16, um, depends where, what time during the year, you know? Because there were times, of course, I just did not use my phone on an advising. So from May, April, May, June, I was not using my phone, but... It was about... I was uh, lying, I was making TikToks then. I would say it was only April and the start of May. Yeah, uh, uh, other than that, I was using my phone, I can't lie. I was using so, my phone so a lot. again? I was very social last year. Very sociable. Is that, is that a word? If that's a word. Yeah, I, I was very sociable last year. I was talking to a lot of different people, different group chats for different people in the world. Like, I was people from America. You know what I'm trying to say? That was it. Yeah, okay, so then again, you're more, you're more socially active than you are. More socially physically. active, yeah. No, but I do go outside. It's not that I don't. It's just that I'm just on it more. I think, I think and, that's the and then at 15 now 15 I wasn't using my phone no I was touching grass I was, I was, I was yeah the outside know. enjoying some oh, yeah being so yeah oh yeah 15 I was outside more I, I, can, I can see that you know do you think okay do you think I had negatively affected you going outside more because now you're like oh, my phone I oh I can't be outside I just want to stay inside and go on my phone definitely definitely because it's like it's like, I'll wait, because of my phone, let's say I'm on it at night, babbling away, watching TikTok, maybe watching some anime or something, yeah, let's say I watch until like 
fudge of times, some crazy hours, like 3 a.m. or yeah. something, yeah, 4 a.m. I'll sleep and uh, I'll sleep until like 1 o'clock, uh, right? And I'll feel sluggish. I yeah, don't know, is you're waking you up at 1. Exactly, you feel fatigued, like, you can't be honest. You've already think, oh, it's already midday, what's the point of going like, out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's the point of going out now? No point. What about you, though? Uh, my screen time is 9 hours. Now I'd say, okay, mm, at 15, time. I was definitely... At 50 or 15? 15. 15. I don't think I'm 50 yet, mate. But, uh, okay, so weirdly enough, I think I was actually on... I didn't have a phone back then, so I, I was on a laptop more. I was more of an iPad kid. Oh, and yeah. I was, you, a, I was an iPad I used to kid. mock you for that. And then at 16, I think that's when it was like more balanced. I'd go out more. And I'd go out some days... You were always out from what, from 16, what I know. At 16? Yeah, I, I'm yeah, pretty sure you used to go football. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, no, football, I was very like, active and going on football. Yeah, that's sad. You hear? What? No, no, it's, no, it's, no. It's, wait, so, so, so now in this day and age, it is sad to go outside and do some physical activities rather than staying home and staying on your phone for 10 hours a day. Now it is. Of course, now, but. Understand, understandable. So at 16, I said it was like a 50 50 split. Okay. And then now. Yeah, definitely. If you're not on your phone more right now, no, but now I'm sorry, but you're not human. Okay, no, but now that I let's say I'm gonna go outside, mm-hmm. it wasn't like I have to do something planned. I'll just go outside because I just want to leave. Walk, we're going to walk. Yeah, I would literally let, let's say I want to go shops, or I just want to leave the house. I go to a further place than like just like the corner I'll shops. Just wander around. Yeah, just just wander around. Maybe go get myself a drink as well. Then I'll come back. I used to do that last year, not this year. So let's say you're literally just camped up in your room in your house. Huh. It's a den. It's beautiful. I just caught there, see there, what, 10 hours a day? Wow. Or like, or something. And most of the day, I'm just there. Saying, no, it's, it's, it's comfortable. I've got a TV there. I've got nice little pillows there. My bed's nice. Why should I need so, so to the go days, down? So the days where it's nice and sunny outside, you'd be like, nah. No. Close the curtains. Ah, I don't like the sun. You're a vampire. Man. Nah, but some days, sometimes, let's say, um, I get called, uh, and then I say, oh, there's a full moon or something, yeah. If I'm in the mood to go, yeah, see, let's in go, the mood, you know, no, I have yes, I have criteria. Like this, this is how I've like you know, it's I don't know, like social media is affecting me. It's affecting me so bad to the point where I have to have a, as as in high school or primary yeah. school, you'd say success criteria. So, um, I have to be in the mood. I have to have at least nine hours of sleep. Um, I need to, of course I need to have my boots there. Um. I need to be able to uh, uh, be able to make it on time. So let's say they give me a time. Um, I always come late. Always come late. Tell me, tell me a different time. You have to lie to me. To go. So let's say you can't, let's say five o'clock. I'll be there five forty-five or six. And then yeah, and then because such is already like half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I also need to like this is so. I need to have eaten right before, like like or a decent amount before, and uh, my mobility needs to be full. Like there's a whole criteria, you know. So and you know, if, so. Depending on you going football, you have to have a WWW and an EVR. If there's too many even better ifs, you're not going to go to the football session. That's more like a review. But yeah, basically. What about you, though? No, no, hold on, 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 hold on. I want to ask a question. Though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, this year... Yeah. Yeah. How many times do you think you've gone outside? In terms of... Because I know TikTok this year, yeah. I'm talking like this summer, I mean, this summer, yeah, TikTok, it was absolutely like, it was addictive because there was nothing we were doing other than podcasts. Okay, was, maybe, maybe for you, it wasn't. We did. I rarely use TikTok. You're lying. That's what did you do? I, Instagram. Yeah, I, I just need to speak to the people that I speak to. Do you find, yeah. do you find, do you find Snapchat and Instagram addictive? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it's only addictive if I'm speaking to a certain person a lot. Or uh, texting with friends or a group Yeah. Chat. Like, yeah, if yeah, I'm trying to speak to a friend, like, at least speak to them one-on-one. I'll speak to him through messages mm. and then I'll check the group chat, I'll see what they're saying. If it's funny, I'll chime in. If they're talking about nonsense, oh, you just ask I can go. Yeah, I'll say something, you know, I'll leave it. Yeah, but you've been on Instagram a lot this summer, this guy would be posting. Nah, no, it's, it's, because, it's because I went out like, on Camden. Wow, you went out! Okay, I I go out regularly, unlike you, mate. Uh, yes, so this summer I'll say I've been out a decent amount of times. Okay, okay, would you. Okay, I actually went to my first football game as well. Well, this summer? Yeah, Brentford. Oh, oh football match? Yeah, got, got that membership as well. 
You bought them. How, yes. how was the game? What was the game? Was it was a uh, friendly between Brentford and Lille. Ended no no, but the game was very nice. Oh, sorry, sorry. I've never been to another game. Yeah, you, you should. Yeah. You should go. Okay. Do you think? Do you think? Yeah, social media would have this effect. Yeah. Yeah. On like, let's say, our parish generation, if they were our age, if they in are, London. Okay. If they, if they, I'm talking, they had the same opportunity to go out and stuff. Do you think? Okay. So, so 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 if 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 I let's say your mom, let's say your mum was your age. And COVID never happened. Could never, COVID never happened. And I, I don't think it would be as prominent. You think she wouldn't be on her phone that much? No. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't Okay, think so. my mum is addicted to TikTok. Same. Now, now she is. But I, I don't feel like it would be as important for them. I feel like they, they, their values would still be going out. Like us. Maybe it's because, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think us, it's 2010s, yeah. Uh, yeah, at prime time, we were still on our phones. 2010s, you always hear people say, oh, back in my day, we always played football. I know why. Why? Because they never had phones. Yeah. We grew up with phones. Them, in 2010, what did they have? They had a Blackberry, they had a Sony Ericsson. And they didn't really care much for it. Yeah, they would not, yeah, they'd only do Snake Game. And it was, it was, it was, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, uh, I, I, still, I, don't no, know. I still feel like they would go out a lot more than Phones are fascinating, though. They're just... I don't know. Of course, sometimes, it, you know, I get tired of it. I get sick and tired of it. So, I'll just, like, when I know I've been on it for a long time, I'll just throw it away. Is, um, and is, I you know when that happens, uh, you know when you when you let's say you're on TikTok, you get bored, you do, you TikTok, get bored scrolling, and then, and then you go to another app, and like two minutes in, you're already bored, and you just turn your phone off and you just look around. I have to. I do not turn my phone off. Oh I, my! I, 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 it's just on charge. Charge. I just. I just can, can you not? Can you not? not use your phone. Button, can you not? Not use your phone for for an extended period of time. No, we, we never know. What does it imagine? And what if, and you gotta remember, yeah, as kids, yeah, no, as. Yeah, we're well, technically. Uh, I need, I need my phone. I need. Is that is that you when you go five minutes? With... No, but think about it's it. Like you know, there's withdrawal diff- symptoms. Okay, okay, that's a, that's been like it's a drug. It, it is a drug in its own way, but it's a nice one. Recreation. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not okay. medicinal purposes. Okay. But but yeah, the thing I'm I'm trying to say is, let's say because now we're seventeen, right? Let's say we get a call or like an email about a job offer yeah. or something. We will need our phone because if we don't pick up that call respectfully, you know, and we know how hard it is for us yeah, to find jobs. I was and I was going to say that's why you do need your phone on you at all times. Financially, now do you think I don't use my, I don't bring my card around me. Do you, I just tap. So 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 wait, do you think there's there's more of a burden on our on our like generation financially than there was on other ones? Yeah. The the, the economically the 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 you know, inflation and everything. Yeah. They were nice. They were they weren't nice. You know but they were Yeah, back in like I there was like I found like an old book of my brother's and this must have been in his art class. You know the Coke cans? Mm. 35p. The bit yeah. like like the 500 milli or 330 milli is. That's 95p now. Because of the sugar tax, inflation, the everything. Way, no? The fact that it's gone up 60p in the span of what? He finished 2000. I remember. I remember. So 10 years, in ten, in literally 10 years, it's went up 60p. Each year or go up. Or each, oh, each quarter. You know, like each each little each year goes up like five p then. Of course, because the you know it's they, it's not I don't blame the company, it's the economy. You know you're gonna have to, you to make a profit. You're gonna have to raise price, like um, and to, sugar, to make sure yeah to make sure you make money. And the sugar tax was introduced in the yeah, so what two thousand eighteen. Yeah, I I used to, bro. I remember when K was forty nine p. I used to just chug it down every day. Uh, nine. And no, it used to be two for forty nine. I don't even like drinks like that. And now it's. Two for one pound, so that's went up by fifty p. So I I feel like our our generation is so much more financially burdened, because when we get money, first of all, we have no we have no we have no way of saving. So our yes, way of saving we don't it, it doesn't way, exist. Yeah, our way of saving is spending instantly. That's literally our way, and especially with this Apple Pay business. You know, I tap my card like it's not mine. I tap like Apple is paying all these transactions for me. So so it's, I think I think yeah, it's because you know. All the people, the old generation, like they had cash, so they see the money going away. They see it. Oh wait! Oh yeah! I'm not trying to buy that. They, oh, wait. They, they they have to control themselves. We have no control. Damn. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Until even even with TFO, I do that because yeah, I haven't ordered my oyster yet. I need to, but I just keep doing that until I see three AM. TFO. And it's just like it's like heartbreak, you know, because I realize I need to start spending wisely. Yeah, I need to like. It's same with everything else. Like yeah. the way I'll be spending is, is no good. I need I need to actually make a it's it's financial literacy. I need to make a plan. 
especially for people our age, they don't know, they don't teach this in school. Yeah, they, 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 but I feel like even if they don't, the, the generation before us, when they had money, they were just, they spent it smartly. Spencer, Maybe it's yeah. because what they could get for their money was much more than us. Like, if you give us five pounds and tell us we're going to get, like, food, we've used I three pounds. Food. Well, look at you, funny. Yeah, you see, the cheapest place you can go, go get food is, what, three pounds, fifty, four pounds. If you give that to a generation ahead of us, they can go get an entire meal for two pounds fifty. It's how they use the money, you know, saving and everything. It's, 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 so, it's, so they had more flexibility on what they could do with that, with that money. But we we don't have that same but to be leisure. Fair, even, even if we have the money, yeah. Like especially let's say we have a job now, yeah. How the hell are we gonna balance that with education right now? So let's say we're in um oh, we're yeah, in I, I feel yeah, I feel, yeah, talking about this. Just I don't know, I obviously you need to look up the statistics, but I feel like there's a lot more seventeen year olds now that work compared to five, ten years ago. Yeah, because we we need the money. We, you know, like back then we, our, our parents would give us something because they weren't really like burdened that much. But now this, and uh, especially during uh, uh School times. I don't think we'll be able to like work. You know, yeah. are you gonna balance a uh, revision? Um, and of course, you know your whole your whole journey of, of, of high school and everything, and primary and everything is all determined by one paper, one exam paper, and you have to make sure you don't fail that one. And you're you're yeah, working on the side, and you're working on the side. Your what? Your entire education from nursery up until you're thirteen relies on six papers. Yeah, and on the side you you only be working so. It's, 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 it's something hard, it's hard to juggle, you know. It's hard to balance. Mm. So, so, so that could stress out a person even more. Of course, work, let's say you're, you're thinking of, you wake up working, on, you'll burn yourself out, you know, you'll, 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 you'll faint from like overworking because you're working in the morning and then you realise, oh wait, I have to revise, I haven't covered this. And then you'll start, you'll start struggling in school. And then there's and then a whole, there is, there's the fact that you have to wake up at 7 o'clock, you have to get ready, then the journey there, work, whatever happens at work, might be a good day, might be a bad day. Tidy up, journey back. Then you have to take a. Then you have to get changed, take a bath, and then you have to go straight into revision. And you have to do that for about ten months, and not be and not be mentally fatigued. The the stress that an eighteen year old would face by doing that, I think that's worse than being in, in like an office job at thirty years old. But this is the society everyone's created, you know. Over time, this what happens. <laughs> that's that is sad. What well, yeah. What can you really do? That's the reality, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I'm Zach. I'm Jabril. And that's been episode three of Life of a Londoner. See you guys soon.